Well, we're real pleased about that. Uh, we were better than uh, we're better than we were last week. We're not as good as we need to be for next week, but um, that's for tomorrow. Uh, for today, we're real pleased for the players, and uh, they're the guys who stepped up and did it. Most of the times that we've won around here, it's because we've had more players step up and make good plays than the, than the other side has had. And when you do that, you usually end up with more points than the other team has. And we had a number of players stepped up and made real good plays for us today and uh, uh, in all phases of the game. And uh, so we're real pleased about it. You had the two quick scores. Yeah, that was that was very certainly very positive and very uplifting. And um, obviously, uh, it let us get the initiative uh, on the game. And uh, it, it was a pretty apparent the, the Duke played the game offensively the way that we thought they would try to play it, and that was going to be, a, that is, uh, what we anticipated was, given the fact that we had nine sacks last year in this game, and that we had numerous hits on the quarterback last week, we kind of anticipated that the plan would be just make sure our quarterback doesn't get destroyed today. Get the ball out, spread us out, get the ball out of there in a hurry, short drops, quick throws, you know, make five, make four, make three, make a first down, and possess the ball that way. Uh, to be off to a lead of 14 to nothing like that tended to be able to negate that type of strategy a little bit. Uh, I think that was indicative by the first three plays uh, that Duke ran on offense were all three of them with that uh, short wide receiver screen out to the outside. Uh, that's what we had anticipated, and having the lead let us manage that circumstance. It would have been a little bit more difficult if it had been rocking along close. Talk about this punt return, the first one that you bust up the sideline. Was that designed to go around the right? It was. Like it, was a, it was a wall return to the right. Um, we, we were playing with, uh, a little bit unusually, we were playing with twin safeties on that um, just because the, uh, the tapes had shown that the uh, uh, the Duke punter had, had his troubles last week and was pretty erratic. And what we didn't want was uh, an erratic kick hitting the hitting the ground and, and rolling and becoming unmanageable. And uh, so the two of them back there communicated it well. We set up a nice wall, and uh, Vickett did a real good job taking it home. As you could see out there today, um, very good poise and very good presence. And he sees the field very well. Uh, that was that was in evidence today. Um, he he had that poise and that presence. Uh, pretty well started from the start. Um, you know, what he didn't have was what, much knowledge of what to do. You know, the one thing that, that, that Peter's had that um, most high school quarterbacks don't have is he's come from a, a, an offensive system in high school where he was throwing the ball 45 or 50 times. And he, that, that puts him um, way ahead of what uh, some kids have to learn. Then on top of that, that when a quarterback is throwing the ball that many times in, in the game, you know how many times he's throwing it in practice. Um, so probably puts him many thousands of throws ahead of uh, where some other kids coming into the college is, and and that's that's enabled him to get off to, um, you know, a pretty positive start. Our our scheme emphasizes tight ends. You know, they're they're put in position where um, we're going to have the opportunity to to, to utilize their skills. And uh, start, uh, as I look down here, Tom had six, and, and Jonathan Stupar had four, and uh, that's ten. And uh, both quarterbacks' lines were real good: 13 for 18 and nine for 14. And uh, you know we're up at 67 percent today. It's been been a while since we've seen 67 percent, so that's a real positive. He hadn't had a drive like that all season. Yeah, that was that was a real good drive. We it's uh, been a while since we saw one of those, and. Um, we did it with all, all. We made, did it with third down conversions. We did it with some good passes. We did it with some real tough running. And uh, then obviously, uh, uh, Pete and Tom hooked up real well on the on the f touchdown score there. So uh, that was that was very positive and certainly is a uh, gives us gives us good hope here. Pleased with your corner play today. Oh yeah, you know I think uh, I'm looking at the sheet here. It's 15 for 35. There weren't too many completed passes and. Uh, the rush was good. Chris Long once again was outstanding. Um, you know, I don't know what his this uh, the sheet here says two sacks for him, but um, certainly he was hard to deal with. And um, early in the game, when they were three-step drops and get out of there in a hurry, uh, as I mentioned earlier, that's kind of what we anticipated. Uh, 
and that, that controlled him as much as the blocker did as the game went on and dictated that the ball be uh, aimed further down the field, and that gave him his opportunity to generate some rush.